everyone, welcome back to Software Incorporated, this time in Alpha 1.10.35. There has been a no update out since I think a few days. Yeah, I think it was uh, the day before yesterday, at least the day I'm recording this. And this time we are going to do a, it a little bit different. So normally, well, we would have a software company, but this time I did install some mods and we are going to mostly use the hardware mod because we are going to make a hardware developing company. And I am actually haven't really looked at physical. Oh... I think we're going mostly for physical design and physical art with our specialization. I guess that is needed for hardware design. Except for... Oh, wait, is it? That, it, it's here, it's here. Okay, going to physical design, physical coding and physical art. Our name is going to be Megazool Productions. We're going to start in the year 2000, which I said because we ended out in 1995, 1999 in our last company. So this is going to be in a forest difficulty hard and yeah let's start the game so do i need to tell anything else yeah this is season number six and i think actually this is, that was everything i wanted to talk about or at least at the start so i uh, here we are let's just pause the game from the start and here we are in the forest we've got a nice big area i need to take a sip of water because apparently my throat is itchy and that is a really annoying place to start. So let me run you through a lot of the stuff that has changed. For example, the build menu has changed in the latest updates. Um, the, it has been added a lot of new stuff or at least some new stuff. For example, a vending machine instead of the normal um, fridge. And there has been some cooking appliances like a serving tray, a stove... A water cooler, which actually will uh, people will socialize around that. A, a cubicle wall, which uh, are these nice big American style walls around offices. And well, I, there has been also a big server rack, which has been added. Now, this is not everything that has been, or this is everything that has been added by the game itself. Now, I did install some. Uh, assets to make hopefully this stuff a little better so i've got myself a double screen layout which apparently uh does everything at once huh so you can use this as a screen i wonder how that will work in comparison with a normal modern pc but we'll check that out uh we have some nice other kinds of equipment here which we're gonna test out but first we just need to start uh, something uh, we got some IKEA stuff or ICO apparently it is called here and yeah let's get started so we start with a small room which will be I guess here, here or do I want to keep these trees well, we've got a nice open space here. I think I want to keep as many trees as I can. We're just going to build around the trees as much as we can. And let's just start over here with a little bit of a small building like so. We're going to add a door right about here. And we're going to add a window because, well, I do like myself some light in a room. And let's add the stuff inside. We need a toilet. Uh, let's just do it like that. Uh, let's add a door there, actually. And a window in the toilet might be nice. Let's add some furniture, like a normal desk. Uh, let's put that one over here. I'm going to try and rotate the tables uh, good this time, because I normally won't really do that. Let's add a modern computer, just a one. Uh, let's add a big and nice chair, which we're actually gonna style. Let's let's go for a different style of chair these days. I normally use... Hey, I said I wanted to paint it. There we go. Let's go for... Oh, we can get go completely black. And there is actually... Oh. Oh, that is new. That's actually a very good idea. So you can scan it like this. I think I want a pretty light color. Hmm, so this is the seed itself. I think I want the seed itself to be a little brownish. So that is normally color which is about here. Then the back is gonna be or lighter or darker. Let's try a lighter color. Let's try something like this and just see what color looks good. Maybe just white. Oh, this is really 
a really dark side apparently. Um, then I think I do want to add some color, maybe just full color. Now let's go for half color and maybe a little bit of the same. Maybe something like this. And no, 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 no. I'm gonna check. I think a light color for the seats. I think I don't like. I do like this color. Let's go for this color. Maybe a little lighter. Now let's go for full color. And the back can actually then be this color. That looks actually pretty good. The supports is gonna be. Gray look nice. Gray does look nice. Okay, let's go for this one. Then the computers, uh, we're gonna paint as well. Uh, we can have, of course, a completely black one, which is the base for this one. Uh, but we can also maybe make some white computers. Oh, that actually does look nice. Maybe a little bit of a color. A little grayish. Hmm, maybe a little yellowish. That's a little more orange. There we go. Nah, no, 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 no. Let's go for white. White glue suit. And the keys. Actually, let's look at the these keys, how that looks. Maybe a little cheesy, but let's go for it for now. And this is actually all going to be set as the default ones. Uh, select all furniture times, set as default. Set as default. Let's also change the tables. Actually, let's change them all at the same time if we can. And let's go for a little bit of a white color, maybe. Will be a lot of white though, so we do need to change the floors up a little if we want that. So let's see. Let's actually first change the patterns. Did they add some patterns? Oh wow! Whoa. Ooh. Oh, that's a nice design. That's a lot better than this one or this one. I like it. We're going for that one. Oh, there's oh, oh, oh! <laughs> they did add some stuff. Okay, let's go for this one. And the walls, or the outside walls, can be bricks, can be oh, that's that's concrete. Uh, no, uh, panels. Let's go for the bricks. I do like bricks. Oh, that that looks good already. Okay, time to paint it. Okay, so the exterior I think is going to be a nice dark brown dark, dark red color uh, like um, here maybe let's go for this one for now you can always change it later um, I'm not really sure about that one. Okay, let's go for the interior. The interior is gonna be... Oh, that looks interesting. I'm not going for it though, but it does look interesting. Let's go for... I, I, my favorite color is a little bit bluish. Let's see if we can get a nice blue color in. I like that. Okay, the floor. I think I want it a little bit uh, brownish. I think I wanted a little bit of a light brownish color. That looks nice. Yeah, that does look nice. Okay, so the walls, let's uh, go. I'm not really sure about this color. Let's see what kind of palette looks good. I think I'm going for a little bit, a little bit of the yellow spectrum. Could make it this color. That's an interesting one. Yeah, it looks nice. Okay, we're going for this one. Okay, now let's set this as a standard. Uh, that one was set as default. And let's change this one to the default. Reset the default colors and there we go. Now let's set the pooping station in the toilet itself. So where's my toilet? Toilet, toilet, toilet. Toilet is over. I can't find the toilet. There we go, <laughs> found it. Okay, and let's add some of the other stuff. So first off, we need some cooling, etc. So let's get a, I could just get a fan in. Apparently that's not enough because I guess we need a radiator. Okay, a radiator has been placed. 
Uh, cooler is enough. I guess we can have a ventilation as well, just in case we need it. And furthermore, let's see how these actually look. Those would look interesting, but not good right now. You can do stuff like that and really make something in a closed room. I don't like it, but it is an idea for later if you need a corridor and we can uh, fence it off with these cubicle walls. Uh, we, I do like myself some books, so let's get some books in. And I was actually looking for something else. So we can, of course, have these, which I'm not really sure we're gonna need. How does the double monitors, ooh. Oh, is this just a computer as a replacement? It does look like a computer replacement. Let's, let's go for this one. Oh, it looks nice. And can you just add these as well? Yep, and they will be behind it because apparently that's the way it works. And I would I would like it a little more to the back, but we do need to change the color of this one, so let's do that. Uh, the base was going to be... Oh, what the hell? That's fluorescent white. Uh, <laughs> we're going for a little bit of a grayish. This looks good. And the keys are were going to be a little bit of a yellowish color. But apparently there aren't any keys here. That's too bad. But we're going to apply it. We're going to set this as a default style as well. Set as default. There we go. So we've got a double monitor set up. I like it. Got one of myself as well. And these IKEA equipment oh, are apparently placed on the walls. Ah, that's interesting. But we're not going to do anything with it now. We first just need to uh, get some stuff rolling. We can add some books apparently. And we can add them on the shelf. Oh my god, we're gonna remove this one. We're gonna have just some books on the table. And we can have a shelf itself. And I guess we can add some books there. Oh my god, the customization with this. I like it! Oh, I'm going to spend a lot of time on this, I guess. And this is a plant for the outside, I guess. Not really sure. Oh, okay. I guess we're gonna add one of these. Uh, we can even make a wall with these. Interesting, interesting. I think we're gonna make some bigger space, big and open spaces and just fence it off with a lot of plants, etc. In this playthrough. Uh, am I missing something? Yeah, I was missing something like the stove. So we still have a stove. How, much, how expensive would it be? And I guess we need a table next to it. And a coffee machine. And, well, actually, I don't think we need this. I think we can just work with a fanning machine for now, because I do remember someone saying something about cooks. And I think you need a cook to use the kitchen equipment. So that's going to be something for later. But for now, I guess we're going to just do it like this. We're going to move this to the sides. And apparently, I did not set this one as... Oh, no, no, no. This one. Table. Table. Set as default. Cherry set of default style. There we go. Now, the last thing I'd like to do here is something which, of course, I was added in the last game. Let's make a or the last season. Let's add a little bit of a path. Uh, let's go for room colors. Uh, floor is gonna be gravel. So let's go for a little bit of a grayish color. And let's go to construction materials. The floor here can actually be this. But I think I want it. This could actually look good. I'm going to test it out. I want that for low apply. How does that does that look? Looks like it's stones. Okay, I like it. We're going to open it up. And there we go. We've got a path to work. Beautiful. Now get over here. Where's my guy? Ah, that time actually doesn't need to get to work. He's late. Get over here, guy. There we go. There he should not come in that bus because he needs to start at 8. And actually he's going to work to 6. Going to wake 10 hours. Uh, work 10 hours. And I guess we're going to speed up time a little bit. And here he comes. And look at that, all new animations. 
Let's open the door. Get in. And there he goes. Now, let's actually let him b make something. So, uh, looking at the software, we're just gonna skip ahead and we have here all the hardware stuff. We can create a motherboard, processors, graphics card, storage, capture card, memory, monitor, case, and a computer. Now, a lot of this stuff will take a lot of people. For example, the motherboard will take 15 programmers, 10 designers, 4 artists, which is a botload. And for servers, is that actually different? Apparently you can add a battery somewhere. There we go, battery. 33 people for a motherboard for servers. That's a lot. That's a lot of people. These are a lot more than, for example, if you need it for an operating system, select like all. You needed only 15 people. And that's for a computer one. Consoles, well, I guess more or less use the same. So that is one thing I'm really interested in using bigger teams. Now, well, one thing uh, that is actually using a lot less people is a case. So I guess we're gonna start with some cases. Now we can add a motherboard here, uh, a motherboard. And I guess we are gonna add the consumer version of the Tiger Tech P. X4, which has 1.2, uh, almost 1.2 million users. So let's do that. And actually, before we start creating this, how much will a case go for these days? And actually, how many have been created? Now, there's a lot of variety here, which is uh, good because that's some way, the way the hardware works, of course. And the last one has been created in December 99, which is two months back. That is not that long ago. And actually ha there has been two releases and apparently they are sold for a retail price of 90. Now let's actually make ourselves a cheap case. Let's go for a 75 euro price and uh, make it an original. Uh, no, apparently you can add to your service here, which is interesting. Uh, we need a lot of physical and a lot of any and we should be good in that so yeah let's start developing it oh we need a case so the name i've gone for is megajoule designs or mj designs and let's call this one um the mj standard there we go i do not well i do want to add some marketing and I think I'm going to only do some web marketing because that's the cheapest way of working. And I am going to set the, mo the designing phase a little bit higher than the marketing because I like to get working on that. Now look at this, he's working and looks like they're actually doing something here. Now what are you going to do now? You are gonna grab a cup of coffee. And you've got yourself a cup. Which is actually a lot smaller than the model, so I guess some stuff still needs to be changed. I'm going to move this one over actually, because I'm, otherwise I can't see him. Okay, there you go. How fast are you going? Let's uh, speed up time a little. It is going a little bit on the slow side, but for a single person company and for its first item, I guess it's going pretty good. So, what's the plan for this company? As I said, it's going to be a hardware company mostly. So, it will be using a lot of hardware and we're hopefully... Oh, my God, there are a lot of... There are not that many physical stores today. And we are going to hopefully uh, automate a lot of the productions. Now, a lot of these uh, stuff will actually take a long time to produce. For example, this one will take approximately five years with about 20 people in a team. Uh, I hope to get stuff out every two years, uh, at least with, well, the graphics card, maybe not the motherboard. Can be a little longer, but I do like to take some big steps every single time we uh, do an upgrade. So we're going to have big teams working on it. We could have multiple teams and maybe work them along the clock. I've seen someone else do that, which is a very interesting concept, I have to say, but I'm not really sure I want to go for that. Uh, but if we do, we will do, we will have some big... Um, areas which will be creating different stuff so i guess here it's going to be a big area producing maybe the basic standard uh, designs like the cases maybe the computers itself I'm not really sure about the computers because those can take a long time to make as well if you uh, actually choose a motherboard uh, choose a processor 
and select all. You can here see the approximate for two, for two years. So let's add a case. Uh, let's add some memory. Let's add some storage. And a graphics card and a capture card. Select all. Then we can take approximately two years for one computer to make just the set of the computers, which is interesting, I have to say. But I guess we can have the, the small teams here making the computers or setting up the computers, assembling the, com the computers, I guess. And later we can have other stuff doing other, uh, other people doing other stuff. So, this looks like a pretty good office, actually. I like it. But uh, I am actually running at the end of this episode. I guess in the next one, well, we are, of course, losing a lot of money at the moment. At the, mo at the end of the... Or in the next episode, I guess we're going to hire our first person, which is going to be a marketer. Because I haven't set myself up to be a marketer. If you look at my uh, a self here and go to skills, you can see my marketing skill is 0.82%, which is not good. So I guess we're going to get one person for marketing just in here. And yeah... We'll see you then. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please, this first episode. Please leave a like on it if you did, of course. And I hope to see you on the next one. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Oh, time is good. Time is good. Bye bye.